When people first see me from before they, well, they hear my music first and then they see me, their initial reaction is always a surprise because they expect to see um, this big black girl walk in and I'm this little tiny white girl. So they're always like, what the hell is going on? There goes my baby. Me growing up in New Bedford, New Bedford is a really tough city um, to be raised in, period. I think that uh, no child should have to go through the things that I went through or my sister and brothers are now going through. Um, you have this sort of curse over New Bedford and the poverty, you know, it, it, it overwhelms everyone in that city. My dad was murdered when I was a year old and my mom was left with two children and she she didn't she didn't do the right thing and get help the proper way she self-medicated which you know in in turn forced uh, my brother and I to fend for ourselves for a very long time and it was it was pretty rough you know it was pretty rough but I knew ultimately there was a goal set in for for me and that that wasn't the life I was supposed to live I go home a lot I go home a lot to humble myself and to remind myself how far I have actually come because I have been out here for going on eight years now and um, you know, it's very humbling to go home and see where I come from and the road I've taken. I can see my breath rise in the cold, 17 years old, trying to keep my hands warm. About a dollar in my gold, practicing some notes, to print in my headphones, streaming. I really kind of wanted to escape that and leave those emotions and those feelings. I tended to run from a lot of my problems and running from them back then was by singing. There is a whole world out there. There's, there's not just the city. And I was one of the very fortunate people to know that there is something else out there and to take the chance to go. We are working on a song called Two in the Morning with Cara Diaguardi, Lucan, and uh, E-Man. At Chow Studios in LA. And I thought we should talk, but you're not listening. Here we go again. You know, like it when you got your back to me. And now when you're mad at me, it's up to me and say goodnight. Writing should never be so organized. I think that the best hits are always the ones that come just right then and there. And you know, that's why when I have a melody in my head or I have a, a quote that I want to use and make a song out of it, I instantly write it down or get it recorded so that way I don't forget it because those are always the ones that come out so amazing and and they're endless, they're infinite, you know, you can listen to them forever. a passion you have to have a passion for it if you don't you're not gonna look for you're not gonna have the foundation to stand firm-footed in the ground you won't you won't have that foundation you'll fall the second someone blows wind at you you know you have to have a passion for that you could drag me by my ankles I'm holding on to that fucking door I'm not going anywhere because nothing makes me happier I miss my family, I miss my niece, I miss Auntie Shisha, I miss that, you know? I miss all that stuff, and, but it doesn't, it doesn't compare to how much I would miss the music. My life would be incomplete, I'd, I'd, I'd have a void somewhere in my life, you know? Ultimately, my goal is to give my family a better life and myself a better life and give back to the people that are in need and use my celebrity for the greater good. The lights are out, don't wanna wake you so I'm creeping in. I know you hurt, cause baby you ain't sleeping in my favorite flavor boxes. You make look so hot boy, you play and sleep but I know you're not poor.